Okay, hi, morning everyone. Uh, let's begin. Huh? So I hope that you have your uh, this module with you. Okay, uh, which is this paper. Okay, so Bob Kita can we're gonna use this a lot today. Lah. Now vector so we're coming to the last two chapters uh, in our admits, and uh, these last two chapters are the more difficult chapters. Lah. Okay, and so uh, because these are difficult chapters, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through the entire module uh, slowly, a little bit slowly, uh, just to tell you what are the things that you should remember. So in this module, in this share screen that I'm showing to you now, uh, you're probably going to be able to see the answer. So what you should do is you should copy down the answer and then you try to understand uh, as we progress. Okay, and then uh, after we finish, uh, let's say we finish a certain part of the lesson, okay, then uh, do some exercises uh, from the textbook, okay, uh, to help you to, you know, emphasize uh, this one better, lah. okay, but at the end of the chapter, then we will do, you know, the solar solar and the bit about the uh, exam questions to see uh, how far we can understand, okay, uh, let me remind you again that uh, for some people, uh, some people find this chapter uh, challenging because it talks about two different things at the same time. Uh, but it is a very important chapter. Lah. And it has a lot of... Uh, there are kaitan banyak uh, dengan uh, coordinate geometry. Okay, so let's get down to this. Huh? So let's begin by talking about what are vectors. Okay, vector is a quantity. Yeah? Okay, vector is a quantity that has magnitude and direction. When we talk about quantity, there are two types of quantities. Lah. So number one, there is scalar quantity. And number two, there is vector quantity. Okay, and actually when you were doing science in Form 1, uh, you would have already been taught this. Okay, scalar is any quantity. Scalar quantities are quantities that only have magnitude. So usually a question I will get is, Sir, what is the meaning of the word magnitude? Okay, magnitude basically just means the number or the value only. Okay, it's just a number, okay, or there's a certain value to it, lah, but there's no direction. But a vector quantity is a quantity that has a magnitude and direction. Okay, uh, that means uh, it's important, you know. Let's say, uh, for example, uh, positive 2 and negative 2. Uh, this positive and negative in e, uh, are indications of direction okay for example two steps to the right or two steps to the left so this two that you see over here this one is the magnitude okay two steps magnitude is the number okay but the right and the left this is direction Okay, so certain things, uh, certain things that we study, uh, especially in maths, uh, okay, certain things are scalar and certain things are vector. Okay, and in this chapter, we're going to talk about uh, vector quantities uh, specifically. Okay, so uh, examples of uh, scalar and vector is, for example, distance and displacement. Okay, so distance is a scalar quantity, like for example, how far it is. Uh, from your school to your house, how many kilometers? Uh, that one is just a distance. But displacement uh, is not just how many kilometers, you have to say how many kilometers and then a certain direction, north, or how many kilometers, 45 degrees west, okay, uh, things like that. Uh. So that is called displacement and that is a vector quantity. Okay, the second example is velocity and speed. Okay. Speed, na? speed, let's say for example, if you drive a car at 80 kilometers per hour, okay, that's just the speed. The number 80 there is just a speed and that is a scalar quantity. Okay. But if I were to say if I were to change the sentence, uh, I say 80 kilometers per hour to the right. Uh, then this becomes velocity already. Okay, this would have jadi uh, Okay, and that one is a vector quantity. 
because now your 80 kilometers per hour got a certain direction. It's not just 80 kilometers per hour. It's 80 kilometers per hour in a certain direction. Okay, so as long as you see a direction, that thing it doesn't become scalar quantity. It becomes a vector quantity. Okay, another example is mass and force. Mass, for example, let's say for me, my mass is 85 kilograms. So that one is a scalar quantity. No direction, ma. Right? You have you ever seen anybody, you know, timang ikan, or two kilogram fish, upwards? <laughs> okay, no such thing, ma, because there's no direction. Okay, so mass is a scalar quantity, but force, okay, force is a vector quantity, because and if you do science, uh, you will know this stuff. Okay, um, if you are watching this on the video, this is for ST, uh, you know that force is actually a vector quantity because the unit is Newton. Okay, this one is, if you study science, you'll know this. Okay, so force is a vector quantity because it has a it has a certain direction. Okay, for example, let's say you want to push this box and then another person push this box with a different force. Eight Newtons and then this one is four Newtons. This one is eight Newtons to the right. This one is four Newtons to the left. So there's a direction to that force. So that's why force is a vector quantity. The next example is volume and acceleration. Volume is isipadu, isipadu, no direction. So scalar quantity. Acceleration, you know how fast is the car going? Okay, that one is a vector quantity. Another one is speed and momentum. Notice again, speed is a scalar quantity. Okay, momentum, okay, is a, a vector quantity because momentum uh, is mass times velocity. Okay, so uh, again, now uh, guys, this is just the beginning stage. Okay, you don't have to memorize all this lah. Okay, I just want you to know the difference between scalar quantity and vector quantity. One or no direction, just the number. Another one is got number, got direction. That one is vector quantity. Okay, last one is work and weight. Okay, work is a scalar quantity and weight is a vector quantity. Okay, weight, if, <clears throat> if you study physics, you know this, weight actually has something to do with force. Okay, both of it is measured in Newtons. Okay, so weight and force are related to one another. That's why they are both vector quantities. Okay, that's why they are both vector quantities. All right, but in maths, uh, okay, in maths, a vector can be represented by a directed line segment. Okay, so there, dalam bahasa Melayu, it's called tembering garis berarah. It is a line uh, that has an arrow on it. Okay, so a line that has an arrow on it, we call this an initial point and a terminal point or the end point. Lah. Okay, the initial and the final point or initial and the terminal point, okay? And vectors can be denoted. There are four ways to denote it. Lah. One is with the A, and then there's a small, like, squiggly, squiggly thing at the bottom here, okay? And then you're macam chaching di bawah sini. That is a vector, okay? Or if you're going from point to point, let's say this is point A and this is point B. So the vector A to B means it's from point A to point B. This is another way. And another two way is doing the same thing except that you do it bold. Lah. But when we are writing down, lah, we cannot write down bold. Lah, right? We cannot write like this. <laughs> okay, many, many times we cannot. Lah, cannot. So we need to get used to these two ways. Okay, if you want to talk from point to point, then you write in big letter from which point to which point then you write the arrow like this. There is no such thing uh, as like this. Uh, uh, no such thing. Okay, it always goes from left to right. So the left one uh, must be the initial point, and then the right one must be the terminal point. Okay, or the end point. Uh. But if let's say there's no point given, okay, let's say I don't give you the point, all I give you uh, is just the length of the vector. Okay, I give you the length of the vector and I say, oh, this length here is A. 
Uh, so this is uh, another one. Uh. So there are a few ways to denote the vectors. Okay. Then thirdly, the magnitude of a vector. Remember what is magnitude? Magnitude is the value. Okay. How long is the vector? Berapa panjang vector tersebut? Okay. Is given by this one, but these two lines over here, or like this. So what this means is, this is the magnitude, or the length, or the value lah. Okay, the value of uh, the length of from A to B. Okay, so for our discussion purposes lah. Okay, for our discussion purposes, it will help uh, if you remember the words magnitude uh, Okay, as the length of the vector. Okay, or the size of the vector. Size is actually a better word. Lah. Okay, the size of the vector is given by the magnitude. Okay, so today uh, we will learn how to count lah, okay, all these things uh, as we go along. But because this is a new topic for a lot of you, okay, so we need to understand these first few things. Lah. In mathematics, we write a vector two ways. If I give you the length, then you just write A and then the, the worm at the bottom. Or if you are writing from point to point, from one point to another point, then you write both points in big letter and you put an arrow to the right. Okay. One of the most common questions I get is, Sir, if I don't write this thing at the bottom here, will I be marked wrong? then my answer will be, obviously, you'll be marked wrong. Because is this the same as this? <laughs> obviously, it's not. One is a letter, another one is a vector. And so don't be lazy, everybody. Okay, Write this one. Get used to writing this, especially in this chapter. Is it very mafan? Yes, it is very mafan. But it's even more mafan if you don't write, because you're not going to get any mark if you don't write. All right, so, eh, sorry, let's go to the next one, uh, next page. Okay, so let's talk about finding the magnitude first. Lah. Okay. Now, if the magnitude, uh, let's say the magnitude is a straight line like this, lah, and one box is one unit, so the magnitude is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be 4 units. Okay. Not necessarily cm, not necessarily uh, km, not necessarily meter, lah, but because we don't know what the unit is, so we just call it unit. Okay. Now, notice how I write the vector is P to Q uh, because our vector is going from P to Q. So we write P, Q, and then we have the, the arrow, and then we write the magnitude of P, Q. Okay. So notice how this is written. This is the magnitude of PQ. Okay, the magnitude of PQ. Short form, uh, short form is still zi lah. Okay, this is how we write the short form. Okay, so if it's a straight line, very easy lah, kan? You just count how many boxes you can use on. Same thing like this. One, two, three boxes. So the magnitude of P to Q is three boxes. Okay. But what if you get a sorry? What if you get a saying it line like this? If you get a saying it line like that, okay, so what need, what do you need to do? Okay, if you get a saying it line like this, we have to use Pythagoras theorem, okay, which is how many boxes from here to here, because we want to go from A to D, bahkan. A to D, yeah. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes. That's so why you get six squared. And then over here is three boxes. One, two, three. Ah. So we can use Pythagoras theorem to find this kind. So the length of this, the hypotenuse, is AD. And AD squared equals to three squared plus six squared. Square root. Lah. Okay, you get the magnitude of A to D. Okay, and then we give our answer either in this form or we can write it in three decimal places. 6708 units. Okay, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you five minutes. Huh? I want you to answer number three, number four, 
and number 5. Okay. Use the Pythagoras theorem to find out how many units uh, is the magnitude of these three vectors. Okay, 5 minutes. Uh, remember, uh, find out how many horizontal, how many vertical. Okay, draw the triangle so that you can see okay, how many squares there are. Okay, five minutes now, five minutes, and then I will call three people to give me their answers. Okay, let's take a look. Huh? So, so Jack is the only one that got this correct. Okay, there's 12 here and there's mm. five here. Dennis, I want to know how you got five or how did you get five? This is two and this is six. So you get this. Okay, then you square root of 40, you get 6.325. Okay. Uh, Benedict is supposed to get five. La. So I don't know why is Dennis answering. Dennis, were you answering number three or were you answering number four? <laughs> Hiya, Dennis. Please, please, please. Okay, so number three is five. Number four is uh, 6.325. Okay, and number five is 13. But the most important thing is this. La. Okay, when we calculate the magnitude, la, we want to take two numbers, square it, and then add together, and then square root. Just like counting Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so put a note up here. Lah. Okay, how to find the magnitude? Lah. Use Pythagoras okay, theorem. Okay, and this one lah, will be very useful later. Okay, later, lah, when we when we read this one, lah, okay, it will be very useful. So I want you to remember this now. That when we count the magnitude of a vector, Actually, we're just using Pythagoras theorem. And we already learned Pythagoras theorem way back when. Okay? From two much up. So we use the exact same method. Okay? Don't forget that. Huh? Alright. Let's take a look at this one. So you have this diagram that shows the vector A. So the A is 4 to the right and 2 up. Okay? 4 right and 2 up. 4 to kanan, 2 ke atas. Okay? Now, if you have negative A, now, so this is the thing. Huh? If A is a vector and K is a scalar, it's a number, lah, then the magnitude of KA is K times with A. Okay, so for example, if like this, if this is 2A, huh, means the original A, kan, you can see, 2 kali. So, 4 right, 2 up. Then, hiyo, another 4 right and 2 up. So this whole thing over here, will be 2a. Okay, that's how it is. One. This is 2 times of the same vector. Okay, 2a is 2 times of the same vector. 3 over 2, if you press 3 over 2 inside the calculator, it's actually 1.5a. 1.5a means 4 right and then 2 up, and then after that you 0.5, half. So that means 2 right and 1 up. So you get 3 over 2a. Now, if the if the number in front uh, is a negative number, okay, if a number in front is a negative number, take a look at the original A. Okay, take a look at the original A and this answer. Look at the length. The length is the same, bakan, 4 right and 2 up. But because there is a negative here, we have to change the direction. Take a look at this direction. They change direction, so that. So this is very important information. If we have a number, the original vector, we times, 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 times with that same number. Lah. But if it is a negative, lah, we have to change the number. Oh, sorry, change the direction. Okay, if it is going this way, when we put negative, we change the direction. Okay, because the opposite is Okay, So it's very logical. So like this, lah. okay, this is the vector u. One right and two up. One right, two up. Satu ke kanan, dua ke atas. So, 2u means what? 2 times of the same, this one, right? So, we want to have 2 to the right and 4 to the up. And 2 times. So, original point is here, 2 right, 4 up. Okay? Or, you can also say 1 right, 2 up, 1 right, 2 up. Same thing. Okay? Dua kali of the original vector. Now what if I put negative 2u? Negative 2u means I draw the 2u first 
and then I change the direction. Instead of going upwards, now it becomes downwards. Okay, like this. So it's the same length, Bakan. Same length as the 2U. Except that 2U is going this way, negative 2U is going the other way around. Okay, 2U is going this way, negative 2U is going the other way around. So 3U, 3U will be the U vector. This is the U vector, the original U vector. 1 right, 2 up. Do 3 times. Okay, so 1, 2, Three. The whole thing would be three U. Okay. So this one is like is that huh? This is is this what sir means by a difficult chapter? <laughs> okay. It's only the beginning. Okay. The beginning is very important. That's why I'm going very slowly. Okay. I want you to understand all these very basic concepts because once we hit the question, uh, I hope that you still remember all this lah. Okay. Let's do the next one. The next one is, if let's say, now I give you from point to point. Okay, so I say, given that A, B is A, okay, and then C to D is how? Look at this. Since A to B is vector A, C to D uh, is the same length, Bakan. Same length, same everything, except different direction. So that's why you get negative A. And they say you get negative A. Because everything is the same, just the direction only different. C to D. Okay, let's look at E to F. E to F, it says 3 of A. So this is the original one, A. 3, yeah. 1, 2, sorry. No one. Okay, this is the second one. This is the third one. So it's 3A. And? Okay. And what about? The last one, PQ is 4A. So 1, because 1A is like this, right? So 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A. Okay? So that means it's 4 of A. This is 3 of A. This is A, but because change direction, eh, so it's negative of so the only difference uh, between the big letter and the small letter is that the big letter shows you from point to point. The small letter, okay, the small letter shows you the length of the vector itself, the sort of length lah, okay, of the vector itself. Now, this is another thing that I want to tell you. Uh, let's say uh, EF. EF uh, is 3A. Okay. Can you tell me what is FE? If EF is 3A, what is FE? Anybody want to try? Okay, very good. It will be negative 3A. Why? Because I changed the start and the final point. And in this one, the original one, this is the start. This is the final. But when I change the start and the final point, okay, the original vector 3a becomes negative 3a. So likewise, uh, the same thing. This one, uh, pq is 4a. So if I change the p and the q becomes qp, it will become negative 4a. And this is a very important thing. When you change the letters, the, ne the, the sign uh, will also change. Okay, positive will become negative, negative will become positive. So let me ask you this. Now we know that CD, uh, according to this question, uh, CD is negative A. Astaga, sorry. CD is negative A. So what is DC? What do you think is DC? If I change the letters, negative A will become Okay, negative A will become A. Okay, same thing with this AB. Okay, let's take a look at this vector. AB is A. AB is A. So if I change the letters, BA will actually be 
negative a it will be changed okay so what i would like you to do is i would like you to answer question number one number two and number three now okay answer question number one number two and number three i'm going to give you 10 minutes to answer these three questions okay use example number four to help you okay and then after that i'm going to same thing i'm going to call people to give the answer okay 10 minutes huh? 10 minutes starting now all right let's take a look at number one huh? so number one okay jk is half u b is 2u good charlotte okay uh, C is 1.5U. Ah, okay. So D, uh, D should be negative 5 over 2 because look at the direction. The direction is different, Makan. Uh, so if the direction change, then it has to be a negative number. Okay. Now, is it okay uh, if I put 1.5U instead of 3 over 2? Also no problem. Okay. Actually, no problem on you can put decimal if you want you can put fraction but usually la usually in coordinate geometry sorry in vector uh, we will put a fraction okay but it's not wrong okay no worries all right number two five over two w okay negative five over two w very good okay i i like that you can see that it is different direction and then uh wong Zhong han the answer there for negative two w Okay, good. Negative 2W. <laughs> okay, Meiji gave answer already. Okay, then number 3. Number 3. Negative X. Okay, 2X. 3 over 2X or 1.5X or so, no problem. Okay, and negative 3X. Okay, good. So, today we are covering this basic plot. Okay, we are covering these basics of the vectors. Okay, a few things that you need to remember. Lah. Number one, okay, this this number one, ah, if you don't remember, so no problem. Lah, ah, okay, just to show you the difference. In, but the important thing is this. When we do vector, we must know how to calculate the magnitude. How do we calculate the magnitude? Is we use Pythagoras theorem. Very, very important thing. Until the end of this chapter, ah, you need to remember this. Okay, and how to write the symbol for magnitude ah, is this one. Lah, ah. Don't forget, this is the symbol for magnitude okay and then if it is written like this eh, or if it is written like this okay also no problem but we know that the two the two lines at the side there eh, means you want to count the magnitude the distance okay so we use particular theorem for that secondly we looked at how the number and the negative and positive eh, okay tells how long a vector is and also the direction of the vector and you can draw it out like in this exercise 3 and in exercise 4 uh, we can also uh, we, we can also rewrite this one okay now of all the exercises uh, exercise number four and exercise number two okay is the important thing for today tomorrow we will continue this lah. but today these two are very important exercise two and exercise four Okay, and so if you want to do extra exercise, is this is not homework lah, but I want you to I want you to give this a try if you can. Just you know, just chanting chanting at the side there, no problem lah. It's not a homework, but uh, if you want to make sure that you understand what is being discussed today, okay, uh, you it would be good if you can do this lah. Okay, you can do page two one eight lah. Okay, self practice, uh, eight point three. Okay, just a very short. Uh, just a very short this one okay um, yeah just a very short this one to 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 just you know refresh on what we've learned huh? uh, okay so uh, do this and then tomorrow we will continue this lesson uh, and uh, yeah so the this one I gave you is not a homework huh? it's just extra work if you want to practice some more huh? okay we haven't finished the basics we will continue the basics tomorrow.